going to get that to the boil, and that would then look like this, Matthew. Ah, it's completely ooh. cooked. Yes, and all soft and squidgy. Absolutely. And what we want to do is just strain off all the stock and then put it in the blender and we'll blend it to a fine puree. OK, how long has that been actually been on for? I'd say that's about a 45-minute cooking time. OK. OK, would you like to put it in the... Put it in there with a little yep. bit of the liquid. There okay. we go, spoon as well. That's all right. You're, You're OK? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let's be macho about this. OK, it made a bit of a mess, but never mind. OK, now we're going to blend that. There oh, wait, we go. here we go. There we go. OK, okay. in cool. the confit, we're going to add a little bit of grain mustard. While you're doing that, I'd like Good. you to chop a little tarragon. OK. Is that done, or can I turn this no, off? Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, OK. Chop a little tarragon. Why have you put the mustard in? Because it's going to give a little bit of flavour. Fantastic. This is the confit. It's going to sit on top. So you're really building up flavours in there, Absolutely. Aren't you? This is a top. Layers of flavour. OK, so... Oh, i better strip this off, haven't I? Yeah. You ready for this, yeah? Oh, hang on, sorry. I'm oh, I've got some already chopped. There oh, you go. Oh. Thanks, but why didn't you tell me that before? That, that it really irritates me, you know? That's what I, I did, did it. what I did earlier. OK, turn There's... that off. And hardly help myself think. Right, OK, that's great. Okay. Smell that. Oh, oh, is, uh, this is not going to be a lightweight dish, is it, though? No, this is a heavyweight. Heavyweight hit. dish for a heavyweight as, bloke. As my okay, mate Westwood okay. would say, hit after hit. Oh! <laughs> Heavy hit. OK, mm. good. Heavy hit up. My sizzling... Oh, that oh, is yummy. That's so hot, my hands are burning. Oh, why are you doing that, you silly boy? <laughs> no, it's not at all, it's stone cold. Is right, it? OK. OK. I'm going to put that back in the pan. Is this no, all... they're still hot, it's fine. A little bit is... of celeriac puree. Can I taste that too? Yep. Go on, have a taste. Hang on, let me get that... enough. <laughs> what is it? Oh, a little bit of plate decoration now. A swirl on the plate, a very chefly trick. <laughs> OK. We'll do... When using your fingers... Well, what I'm going to do is just line them up because we're yeah. going to put a little bit of OK, now you don't, want, you don't want these too cooked, do you, this beef? Medium rare. Medium rare. A little bit of, a little bit of juice still left in there. It's delicious. And this, and this topping is not going to kill the flavour of the beef? No, the beef, the beef, you know, it's, you know, you think about, you put mustard with beef. Oh, that's true. You know, yes. you, you put, you know... Big sauces of, with beef. Absolutely. Red, the French would put weird red wine sauces. Oh. Okay, you're going to be generous, aren't you? Give me two slices. Well, it's it's normally sort of one fillet, and so I'm going to do that because like that, I'm a okay. generous sort of guy. So and then we've got these roasted shallots. Celeriac, the beef with the topping, and a shallot or two just to help garnish the plate. A little bit of... Oh, you know, a little bit of stuff. To... I must say, it does look very, very edible. Come on up. <laughs> now, My never mind. I'll be mother because I've got a sharp knife and that'll make it okay. easier to cut with. And all you have to do is eat... And enjoy. and enjoy. I think I can do that. You think you might? Yeah. You're braced for the oh. reality. I'll just cut up this as well, a little bit of shallot, because so I think good. that's part of it. My mouth's and, watering. <laughs> and don't forget the celeriac puree. OK? All right, I'll just take a little, little bit. Not too rare for you? Take a big bit. <laughs> take a big bit. Oh, it's stuck in. Hang on. I'll cut that off. There we go. <laughs> I must say, I like a healthy appetite. Mm, it is so good. Very soft, just the way I like it cooked. You can really taste the mustard in there. Yeah? Mm. And yeah. taste the beef? Yeah, it's amazing. If you'd like to make Michael's beef fillet, here's what you need to buy. From the butcher, you need to buy really good quality fillet steaks. Michael uses Devonshire Ruby Red. From the veg stall, you'll need celery, celery, shallots and onions. You'll also need milk, chicken stock, thyme, grain mustard and tarragon.